The dungeon has been raided, the monsters have been slain, and the treasure is all yours. That can only mean one thing. It's time for the after party at the Red Dragon Inn. The long running, rambunctious card game from Slugfest Games that dares to ask the question, how will your adventuring party celebrate after a quest well done? Choose a character, then drink, gamble, and roughhouse the night away as you attempt to be the last one standing in the rowdiest bar. This side of the adventure is night. Club. The last one awake and still with coins in their pocket wins, so be sure to keep an eye on your money, your fortitude, and those delicious flagons of ale. And don't forget to tip your servers, you filthy animals. Head on over to slugfestgames.com slash RDI to learn more and snag your seat at the Red Dragon Inn today. Now for realsies. Okay. Woo! Yes! Get, get it out. Get it out now. <laughs> Just you and me now. <laughs> I do everything with flourish. As you should. As you should. Hey there, internet. Welcome to Adventure is Nigh. Season 3, live, in person. We are here in Milwaukee, the city that embiggens everyone's heart. Recording at the perfectly cromulent Comedy Sports Theater. I am Jack Packard, I am your Dungeon Master, and I am here with Yahtzee Croshaw. And I play Mortal Rafflesworth Everwind Smythe, half broke, half bard, con artist, potential assassin, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Casey Wosu. And I play Sigmar Iceblood, um, and I thought you were going to say it embiggens everyone's body. <laughs> Hell yeah, well, it, it does. does that as well. <laughs> mm -hmm. Am I right? A lot of cheese. <laughs> We're also here with Jesse Galena. Oh, that's me. I play Grinderbin, the Dakaria artificer, but Jesse is very excited about the chili mac and the cheese back in the in the house. <laughs> Finally, we're here with Amy Campbell. I play Deborah Yeetsta, the Tabaxi cleric fighter war chef thingamajig, uh, who's apparently really good at cooking. Those were some hecka rolls uh, that you rolled last time. Because last time on Adventure is Nigh, the heist happened. You were able to steal the Quantic Reflection, the magical necklace that Queen Beyonce uses to harness the power of the moon through some sheer fuckery. Uh, you were able to swap the Quantic Reflection with that of your forgery. While swapping out, Mortimer did sneak in a poison and pricker uh, in a possible assassination attempt for Queen Beyonce. Dun dun dun! You all met back up in the dining room. Egalier came in frantically, and you hear horns in the distance, and that's where we left off. Hello and welcome, everyone. This is Adventures Nigh Season 3 The Liar, the Witch, and the War Torn. Bam! Bam! Who? So we are going to start out with a couple rolls. Rolls, you say? Yes, rolls uh, with physical dice from our exclusive dice sponsor, Dice Envy. That's right. Thank you, Dice Envy, for allowing us to record this uh, in person to see exactly what the himbos know. Interesting. All right, so I just rolled for Himbo and uh, got some interesting results. But here you all are back in the uh, the dining hall. Egalier comes busting in, uh, telling you that uh, you have to leave now. She says, we should all get out of here right away. And then horns in the distance, S definitely warning horns. You don't know what those mean. <laughs> Everyone in the dining room starts to look a little uneasy. What did your spies tell you? I mean, what did the people that you totally employ normally tell you about distance? Yeah. How much time have we got? Yeah. Um, uh, not much. Uh, what, I, uh, what I've heard is uh, there is quite a large being that's a little ways off, uh, but uh, I believe uh, one of the sisters is much, much closer. Oh, oh, shit. That's a problem, that I think. We need problem. weapons. Just at that moment, uh, uh, a knight uh, walks in and goes, Ladies and gentlemen, um, you probably heard the warning horns. Uh, we have a little situation. Uh, we ask uh, that uh, anyone who is 
able to fight, maybe uh, can help us fight. Yes, yes, career adventures over here. Where's the armory? Oh, good, oh, good. Uh, okay, we got some, and, and he looks to all the other nobles, and all the other nobles are like, we'll go back to our room. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go back to our room. Take us to our room. And Egalier goes, <sighs> she reaches down into her dress and <sighs> takes her sword out of a bag of holding that was hidden in her bosom. <sighs> nice. Man, imagine if, like, most of her have been trying to get the second base. <laughs> <laughs> and, and she looks to you and goes, You really didn't bring any weapons? We didn't need uh, the heat, frankly. <laughs> the one a, time the I one obey the law. <sighs> this, this goes to show. Get Never it, doing that again. Get <laughs> it together. Is like, Deborella in the conversation at this point, or is she still with... Well, the nobles will pissed off, right? They'll piss off yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, the nobles are pissed off. So you've probably, yeah, yeah you can join... Uh, Aguilar, is there any way you can get in contact with Moped? I don't know where Moped is right now. Can you just do yeah. the scrying spell? Because he's still wearing the necklace. I don't have those spells equipped for today. Would the armory have scrying spells or scrolls? Uh, the armory's got lots of swords. Uh, we got some shields and axes. So, okay. your, so your castle defenses have zero magic magic users. What you're telling me? We uh, uh we have one incredibly powerful magic user. Her name is Queen Beyonce. <laughs> we don't necessarily have to worry about that because we got her. We have uh, someone trying to get through the front gate. Very powerful person. We got to get people to the armory so you can get some swords and someone should check on Queen Beyonce. She is probably near her tower. Those are the three things that we need to accomplish. Do you, you have people that can go on horseback and get out of here, correct? Can you, like a- Outside the castle? Errand, yeah. There is someone at the castle gate trying to get in. So can we sneak someone out during, is what we're asking. Someone that is a question for you. <laughs> you can, I am a castle guard. Where are the horses located? Uh, in the stables, the uh, duh. Uh, first of all, I will let's... fight you, sir. Okay. <laughs> Look, okay. All we, we can... need is someone to fetch our things for us. Is there someone that can do that in your room? Yeah, outside the castle. Motherfucker, come. Three options here. <laughs> <laughs> You're not getting your stuff. Accept it. Dang. I will not. And Egalia goes. I will check on the queen. Make sure that Queen Beyonce is uh, safe and sound. Should I, should I don't you worry, I will make sure. I don't need to go to the armory, so I don't want to say out loud because the guard is there, but like Mortimer, could you pick me up a bow when you head to I'll me? see what's there. What, where are you going? Don't worry about where I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, are I love it. He's going to the dungeon? He's going to the dungeon. Okay, oh, great. <laughs> I feel great. like you don't have to be subtle about that, though. I feel well, like I, I don't want the say. guard to know. Is there anyone in the dungeons? Uh, we got a couple we prisoners. We got to think outside the box. Anyone who'd be good at fighting in the dungeons? Oh, probably the prisoners. Promise uh, them a pardon if they fight on the castle side. Uh, Look, do you want this castle defended or not? Look, oh, and he, he re here the keys. Thank you. Here the keys. Sigma, here uh, you go. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, anyone that can fight, I'll, they, they go, I'll, I'll vouch for them. Yeah, so who, so who are you? Uh, my, na my name is Solar Zano. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Solar. <laughs> All right, let's go. De Deborella, where are you going? She doesn't need weapons. Yeah, she don't need no. weapons. Um, okay, why don't you join Sigma? Yeah, come, come with me to the, dungeon. the dungeons. I'm was... nervous about someone not going to the gate, though. These are these are the decisions. Uh, if if you don't go to the gate, maybe stuff will happen. Maybe the okay, guards you will You two go to the dungeons. I get yep. a repair, and I'll look up with Grindabin. Okay. We'll rendezvous at the gate. Yep. Armory, Beyonce, dungeon. Great. Let's do the dungeon first. So you uh, run down uh, into the dungeon area, uh, and a couple guards are like, oh, you should go stop there, go stop there. We got a... Uh, Sigmar says, uh, get your hands off me. I didn't put my hands on you. I just, <laughs> I just said, don't come in here, sir. <laughs> I'm private security for uh, court cedar Jarmy. <laughs> Wavelength and Jarmy. I got the keys for the guard. Court seat? <laughs> I don't know the proper terms for this region, all right? All right. I'm just doing security. Yeah. We just had an assassination attempt upstairs. There's a Lawrence Blaren. I got the keys from Solar Zano. He's given me permission to release any prisoners who can help us fight. Is that what Solar Zano said? Yeah, so take it up with him. Okay, but I'm no, pushing right. past you right now. No, he's a, he's a trustworthy bloke. No, 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 go right ahead, go right ahead. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. What uh, what you see uh, as you round the corner Who is- uh man? Yeah, uh, what you see is uh, this guard is actually kind of bent over the table with his back exposed, and uh. this guy is giving him a tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's giving him a little tattoo. Oh there, bro, you need a butterfly? No problem, all right. I have so many questions. Oh, we will answer them because- <laughs> 
Okay, uh, so uh, are you like, what are you doing as you run down the so cell? You are yeah, I'm running cells. through the cells to yeah. see where Domino is. But here, just before this area, is that bread? So you you run past bread. someone, um, uh, and you do notice that <gasps> that bread is in a jail cell. Arrested bread. Is it? Okay, oh, no. it's bread. Bread. What are you doing? Yeah, bread. What happened? What happened? Yeah, uh, you see bread kind of just sitting. Hey there. Hey, you guys. Uh, what's going on up there, huh? So I'm, go I'm as we're as he's talking, I'm undoing the the lock on the door. Oh, you key. got the keys. Oh, great. Oh, good. Oh, golly. Yeah, I thought I thought they were gonna murder me. So thanks. What what happened? What How happened? did they get you here? What? Ever since you came by the shop and told me the stuff about Bonzias, I gotta see my friend. So I came to the castle and. <laughs> I wanted to see Bonzi, and they kind of put me in the dungeon because, like, oh, I want to see the reanimated skeleton of the king. They, you know, you know, they thought I was pretty crazy, and I, I've been sitting here for a bit. I'm thinking I might be crazy. I don't know. I just missed my friend, you know. Uh, yeah, there's actually a situation outside, so you can actually make a choice. Uh, you can help us fight. I don't know how well versed you are in combat, or you can just get the hell out of here. I think I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Uh, <laughs> good, probably a good call. I'm, oh, I'm pretty good at baking. Oh, but I'm gonna leave. Bread. Oh, could I'm, you please do us a favor, though? Hey, well, you just got me out of jail, so <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of in your in your debt here. We have some friends at the end. Remember the old crazy guy with the one foot who popped up in your tavern just the last time we saw That's you. That's right, he was kind of creepy. I think he just stood in the doorway and didn't say anything. <laughs> yeah, he can be yeah. like that. We yeah. left him at, insert, location of in here you left him at that in yes. oh that's a that's a pretty middle of the road in all right <laughs> yeah as fast as you possibly can use magic if you can get it i do not have magic if you can get it <laughs> if i can get no okay i am just a regular person <laughs> I, as I, fast I, I as you bread. possibly can okay get to him uh -huh. and have him and his rest of his party come back to the castle with our stuff. I can do that. I can do I'll, that, okay. I'll go to the inn, I'll say, hey, there's something happening at the castle, bring all the crap uh, to the party. <laughs> yeah, I can do that. Thank I, you. Okay, I'll, uh, bread away. <laughs> Bye, bread. Oh, oh, he's you know, like, oh, I just tripped over a thing. It's pretty dark down here. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry, no, sorry. Oh, no, I'm fine. Dom okay, Domino's right next. Domino. Uh, you find Domino fantastic. Still, uh, still bound and gagged. Oh, dang, so he can't even move. All right, so Sigmar starts uh, opening the door mm. with the key. Mm. <laughs> Hi! Hi, Domino! All right, so Sigmar's going to start. Uh, he's going to start by untying his mouth. Okay. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I know you! Yeah! Like, what happened? How'd they pull you into this? Oh, we know, we know you didn't take Jay Homunculus. That, that was kind of us, honestly. No, what? it wasn't. <laughs> what? I mean, it was kind of us. That was you? I All mean, right. we, we know we just know it wasn't you. So I just got done with the craziest adventure. We fought a kraken in the cave of something. Oh, oh man, I wish I fought a kraken. <laughs> oh, it was quite an adventure. That sounds like a story I'd love to hear about. But uh, just as we were hauling our treasure out of the cave, I got kidnapped by some Asimar. I also want to fill him in on the actual current situation. You will be pardoned, apparently, if you help. Oh. So whatever crime they have you on, including, yeah. you know, this execution charge. Yeah. We could use every sword we could get because apparently there's some uh, there's some shit going on outside. Well, Domino Fantastic is always down for a battle, especially if it gets me out of dying. <laughs> we got to get back to the others. But, Dab, did you see anybody else in here who could maybe help fight? Oh, no, let me have a look. Hello, is there anyone in here? Come on, Domino. Come All on. right, here I come. We're Ooh. out of here. Anyone in this one? Oh, there's uh, a dude over here. Hello, excuse me. Hey, buddy, what's your deal? Uh, what's, what's your name? My name <laughs> is Stuart Wimpleton. <laughs> what, what did you do? Why are you down here? I'm a pervert. <laughs> How you exactly how per <laughs> exactly how perverted are you? I like to take my pants off in public. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be helpful for us, Dabrell. <laughs> do you want me to take my pants off? He starts do, taking his specifically. Pants off. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> my oh, pants are no. off. Oh no! <laughs> Dabrell runs. All right. Well, what about these guys back here? What are you guys up to? You see that the tattoo artist has done is like, all right, there you go, bro. Uh, hey, uh, y'all interested in a tattoo? There are arcane tattoos. Whoa! Wait, what, what arcane like, tattoos what do? They do? do? He's like, well, check this out. And he goes, 
and a little knife appears in his hand. And he goes, oh, pretty cool. Hey, wait, check this out. And a hammer appears in his hand. And he goes, oh, now it's gone. That's my, I got a bunch of tattoos. Don't you worry about it, you know. So you I could like. I am intrigued. <laughs> like, you are. and and hold on for a second. I am intrigued. Deborah is kind of into it. <laughs> and he goes, he looks at you and he's like, you look like an archer. And a big bow appears in his hand. Oh, I wish more of you about this. Like, here's the thing. Here's the thing, brother. I came here to, you know, work on some guards, but you look like someone who's in need of a little help. I'm offering my tattoo services. Uh, I can get you a, a cool ass tattoo. Summon weapon. You know what I'm saying? Get you a bow. How how fast can you uh, put an arcane tattoo on a, a dude? And he, he has his wand. He's like, it's a spell cast. It takes like a minute to cast a spell. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He's like, <laughs> but I got to warn you. You know, it's a tattoo. It'll hurt a little bit. I can, what's a tattoo, right? I can take a tattoo. Oh, yeah. I just, ah! You know, like there's a cost, you know. You know bzz, ah! <laughs> I mean, whatever. It's like this. That's so badass. Go Sigma. You know, I can get you like a regular bow. That probably won't hurt too much. But if you want like. For example, a plus one or plus two bow, then it's, you know, more. So it's Sigmar, okay. get the most badass tattoo you can. Let's do this. Sigmar, like, starts to, like, take his shirt off, like, put it right on my back. Brother, it's got to be on your arm, because that's where you're going to summon it from. I apologize. That's like, cool. these are the rules, but. My like, shirt's already off, so let's just. First of all, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thanks. You look like you work out. I do. <laughs> Brother, no. Nice. No one, like, none of my friends have said anything about the, yeah. the gains. Sigma, we work out together. But you didn't say anything about my gains. <laughs> no, and it's very clear that you respect your body, and I'm just respecting your body with you, brother. Thank you. Uh, this, this is a delightful experience. This is a delightful you should, experience. You should visit our nightclub at some point. We might have other folks who want to. You got a nightclub? Yeah, it's right in Vestige. Like right in a little, not in the too uh, crummy area, not in the super ritzy area. Sir, it's like, right in the right, middle. Yeah, right in the right square. In the you, you Wait, can't I think miss. I've heard of that. Yeah, Adventure like, is nightclub? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Oh, I've been meaning to go around there. You should I've, absolutely you come. Should. What was your name so we can tell Dory to expect you? That's good. Yeah, my name is Sebastian Piss. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Yeah. Piss, it's so lovely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can, can we just get the tattoo? <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> All right. So you you get it. Like, this has a cost. Like, this is going to hurt. The cost uh, is damage. Yeah. Yeah. Seems, probably. You, so you're it cool? It might mean, be a bad looking tattoo that you have in your the, you know, it's, on, it's on the arm. He wears sleeves. You get to decide what the tattoo looks like. I'm just going to oh. infuse you with the magic, and then, like, your vision comes to life, brother. Sigmar wants a tattoo of of wings, like angel wings. <gasps> angel wings on your arm to summon a bow? Fucking <laughs> badass, brother. So badass. <laughs> okay, so mechanically now, uh -huh. you get to choose whether you want a flat bow, a plus one, or a plus two. I'm going to go for the plus two gamble. Fucking so fuck. How, so like, what does that cost me? You can assume that because it's a strengthier bow, it will very possibly do more damage to you. The Fair cost enough. will be greater. Because uh, Dabarella's with me. She's been, yeah. you know, yeah. doing healing stuff. I think we yeah. can manage. I mean, I, you know, do you want, like, a check with this or you just want the tattoo? You tell me what, what you want here. Because, like, you uh, know, he's getting, his, he's getting his little stuff like, all right, here we go. Sebastian Piss. Let's go. <laughs> I got to psych myself up. Oh, uh, let's do it. This is going to be a good deal. All right, let's go. Let's go. All right. And he, he starts, you know, like he touches his staff to your arm, and immediately you feel a searing pain. So now I need a constitution saving throw. 19 plus 2. Nice. 21. Oh, my God. Brother, you are taking this like a champ. <laughs> <laughs> smells like burning flesh. but Yeah. Uh, you, you take one damage. Yeah. You take one damage. That's not all though. Like so, but you know, so the tattoo. You start seeing these like angel wings, like glowing on your tricep, right? Nice. And they start reaching up because you are getting a, a plus two weapon. Is yes. What you said. Yes. Uh, so they start. The angel wings start growing up into your bicep, and I need another Constitution Ooh. save. Okay, that's a six plus two. So that's eight. Uh, eight. Great, I, I really want to do some damage to you. <laughs> if you haven't figured that out by now. How much? That was a D12 that I rolled. Mm -hmm. I rolled another one. Wow. <laughs> so because of, your high, for this. because of your high constitution check before, I only rolled a D6. I rolled a D12. You only take one more goddamn damage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Finally, as the tattoo finishes growing, I need a religion save. Mm -hmm. Religion. Yeah. 
yeah, I have no buffs to intelligence. I'm, I'm a very wise boy. That's a flat eight. A flat eight. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So the angel wings start growing on you, and by the way, it looks badass. Like the exact, <laughs> like, you know, like you hold your arm out and you see these glowing angel wings on either side of your arms, and it looks like the shading. And it starts to, you know, like the glow starts to fade into a normal one. And he's like, now that'll take like a minute or two to he fully heal up. And after that, you just think about a bow and it'll pop right out of your arm. It's going to be awesome. This sounds awesome. And he goes, oh, here, here's my card in case you need any more. Thanks. All right, great. Okay, now what? <clears throat> huh? What was the last roll about? You, you don't know. You don't know. What? <laughs> Your arm is now you'll, possessed. You'll find out. You'll find out. Uh, so, <laughs> great. Alan, you know, you're feeling pretty good about this. You're feeling yeah, like. Yeah, I'm feeling very, feeling this very good about this. Da, this, was, <laughs> this was a great idea. This was a great idea. So, uh, you and Dabarella and Domino Fantastic uh, start walking out. Uh, both of you give me a, uh, a perception check. 20! Hey. Wow. Unnatural 20. Great. Uh, so, you and Dabarella start walking out, and uh, you think to yourself, Oh, you know what? I didn't pay this guy or nothing. Uh, you turn around and he's not there. Uh huh. We'll deal with that later. <laughs> <laughs> you still have his card. That, like that didn't disappear. Okay. That didn't disappear. <laughs> Sebastian Piss has a little bit of information. This is the uh, second guy to just disappear after turn around today. I'm getting sick of this. <laughs> Sorry, I will deal with it soon. Mortimer. Yes. Give me an investigation check. All right. And you're in the armory. You're I'm in the armory. the armory. Yeah. A uh, 13. A 13, great. Uh, for a 13, uh, you bust in. You see a fully stocked armory, but no bows. Shit. Well, first things first, grab a repair. Oh, you find a very nice repair, Stick yes. Take it, we'll put on the belt. Yep. Admire how it looks with the suit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you definitely take way too long. Yeah. Like, just, ooh. <laughs> Is there a hand crossbow available? For a 13, yeah, yeah. I'll say you, you're you like, oh, you find like a little room that, that okay. seems like where all of the, uh, like, bows and arrows should be. You find uh, some bolts and a crossbow, absolutely. Okay. I'm proficient in those, I never had one. Oh, great. So, yeah, you find opportunity a, to try a, them a out. sturdy looking hand crossbow and a oh, and a, uh, like a sack of bolts. Oh, and a shield for Grindabin. Oh, 100%, you find a shield there. Those. Uh, so no bows at all. No bows at all, shockingly, no bows. <laughs> Yeah, well, Morph doesn't know he's got a, like a magic bow now. Yeah, right. Or they'll know. just go, da, 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 da. ah, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then so where now, are you going? Now I'm going to rendezvous with Grinderbin wherever he is. So Grinderbin, so you, so you two are going to the front gate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You are going with yeah. Grinderbin to Beyonce. He needs, in case he needs help investigating how the queen's doing. Grinderbin. Hi, all. You walk into this lovely courtyard, a massive tower on the other side. Uh, presumably that's kind of like their home within the castle, okay. the, the royal family's home within the castle. Uh, you see a, a stone chair and some stargazing tools. You see a very large hole uh, in one of the areas of the courtyard. That's, yeah. what, that's what this is. That's yeah, a I thought very, that was a hole. That is a very large hole. Uh, and on the other side of the courtyard, you see Queen Beyonce sitting on a little stone bench talking to Bonesy. And be like, <laughs> bust in, trying to like shoulder past uh, <laughs> Egalier and just like, ah, Queen, we can. <laughs> Bonesy? And, and Bonesy looks over at you and. <laughs> what are you doing here, Bonesy? You are on the other side of the Oh, room. good. Yeah, start, yeah. I'm going to start moving in. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and Egalier. Say, saying this while moving. Egalier is all. Hey, no, 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 Queen, uh, your highness. Uh, uh, Beyonce is kind of looking down to the ground. Bonesy is looking to you. Bonesy can't talk, right? Bonesy is a yeah. skeleton. Be like, oh, Bonesy, so not, what brings you here? Oh, click, well. Click, click, yeah, okay. Click, 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 click. All right, well. <laughs> We'll get back to that. All right. Uh, but it's so good to see you. I'm so happy. Uh, Beyonce, okay. We may be able to help you, but we got to know what you're dealing with. What is going on? All I know is that my Cheserick has come back to me. That is very exciting. But what? why are the warning bells had? That's what I, I need to know. And she just grabs Bonesy by the hand. It's, just, it's been so long, my love. 
<laughs> I'm gonna look and, at Egalier and, and be like, is and this Bo Bonesy's like, click 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 click. What are you trying to tell us, Bonesy? Click 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 click. And then, but Bonesy's like, click click click. Okay, click, click, okay. click, click. And it's like, you know, like comforting his wife. Beyonce. This is so stupid, but it's been... Bonesy, yes or no? Do you have vital information to tell me? Click, click, click. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. First word. <laughs> no. You want Bonesy charade? <laughs> I can't talk to him. Okay, so. Click, 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 click. Okay, first word. Click, click, uh, click, click. Click, 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 click. Chef, click, click, you, click. chef, you, Bonesy. Click, 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 click. King. Click, click. You're the king. Click, 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 click. You're the, you're the king who got tr- Oh, the prince. Click, the click, prince. Click, the prince. Click, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the prince. What about the prince? <laughs> <laughs> this is something that could only happen in person, by the way. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> by the way. <laughs> Thanks to our exclusive dice sponsor, Dice Envy. Thanks, Dice Envy. For letting us do charades in person. <laughs> this is something that could not happen over the internet. Okay, click, click, click. Prince. Yeah, okay, click, the prince. Click, click, click. Yes. Click, click, the click, prince, click. The prince wants to murder. Click, click, click. Oh no, the pr prince Trezoric wants to murder? Click, click, click. Uh, oh, click, click, click. Click, click, click. Okay, uh. Click, 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 click. Prince Trezoric is gonna use the moon. Click, click, click. Okay. Click, click, click. And the necklace. Click, 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 click. To, uh, do something in the ground. Click, click. To summon an army of killer robots. Click, click, click. click. <laughs> Click, 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 and he's like, he's like, how did you know that? Click, 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 click. I didn't even mind that. Click, 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 click. All right, so Prince Cheserick, the third of second, is going to use the necklace to summon a uh, army of killer robots when the uh, during the ball tomorrow. Click, 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 click. Now he's gonna do it now. Is he gonna? Wear, he's gonna put on the. He's gonna put on the necklace. Click, 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 click. Click, for click. the robots, the robots okay. have to put uh, it on. Uh, click, click, click. Okay. Okay, Prince Trezoric. Uh, uh, okay. Click, 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 click. Beyonce. Click, 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 click. You're losing me here, Bonesy. Can in now? <laughs> um, let me have this. <laughs> 100%. Okay. Uh, so, Mortimer, you come in to, like, King Cheserick the Third, like, click, 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 and, like, Grinderbin being like, pie. Oh, no. So, Mortimer, you come right. running in with a handful of weapons. Okay, I'm with the... Oh, good. What's Bonesy doing here? Bonesy is uh, here. It's the king. Okay. Uh, is uh, the queen okay? I mean, she's there, but she's like super okay, fascinated eye immediately by. goes to her chest. <laughs> of course, as they yeah. would. They, uh, she, she still does not have the necklace on. Okay, but I like, assume unless you're checking out her breasts. <laughs> well, that still as well. Yeah. Very nice. Like column A, column but, yeah. Okay, right, but yes. you see the necklace is not on. Okay, what's the? Fill me in. What's I the story? I can't talk to Bonesy directly, but Bonesy has informed me that Prince Cheserick the Third, the Second, is going to use the necklace tonight. He's going to wear the necklace. I think so. Yeah, he's oh. going to wear. It. Click, click, click. Oh no! Click, click, click. He's Click, I'm click, not. Click, this is the click, part I'm not sure click, about. Someone's ding, gonna wear ding, the ding, necklace. Ding. And Mortimer will swiftly get out his pen and paper and say, "Just write it down." Oh, click, 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 <laughs> click, 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 click. <laughs> uh, and <laughs> uh, Bonesy writes, uh, "Cheserick also has the homunculus." Well, oh. click, 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 oh, click, click. Okay. Egalia, how much do we need to worry about the jade homunculus? Just how powerful is it? Oh, it's a power uh, source. I didn't do too much to it because I only caught the thief who stole it. Mortimer! <laughs> 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 Okay, well, that, that's the X Factor for now. Yeah, where, where does he need to go to summon the army? Go click, 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 points to Down the, the hole. hole. Click, 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 click. Click, 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 and he just starts like, like almost like he's talking, and he's like giving up on mimes. Um, uh, perception. Fifteen. Uh, I got twelve. The horns are growing louder in the distance. Oh shit! So Beyonce got... won't tell me what the horns are for. Someone's at the gate. Your Majesty, do you know who's at the gate? My sister. They've come for me. I asked that she wouldn't tell me. <laughs> well, I'm much more handsome. <laughs> <laughs> Beyonce, did you know about the clockwork army? Hang on. Bug and nuts. Beyonce, did you know about the, the clockwork army? I sensed a darkness I had no clue about an army. And it's green. 
They told me not to be with my love because the darkness was coming. Wait, okay, but Bonesy, when is Prince Cheserick the second, the third, going to get the necklace? Click, 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 click. Uh, he's, he's got it now. Click, 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 click. And he, he points back to the hallway that you came from, uh, and, and it's like click, 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 click. The himbos. The himbos. Click, he's click. gone to the himbos to get the necklace. Click, click, click. Okay. okay. If we can get the necklace before Prince Cheserick puts it on. We can bring it back here. Beyonce can put it on and reactivate the barrier that prevents her family from getting here. All right, we're gonna run. Okay. Uh, and and uh, Egalir says, "I'll stay and guard the queen. Don't do anything evil. <laughs> Just leave." <laughs> <laughs> and she, like really quick before she says, "I don't know if I have the capability." <laughs> perfect. That's perfect. That's perfect. That's perfect. Good. I'm so you. I'm, I'm so you. I'm so happy right now. Bring it here. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> Love you, babe. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> like running away, being like, I'm starting to see what you see in her now. <laughs> she's a woman after of, the facade. Like, she's there's a woman something of, there. She's yeah. a woman of many nuances. Yeah. You should hear the right. things that come out of her when she's bent over my nightstand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're running. He's like. Uh, you said everything went fine earlier, right? Uh, yeah, textbook. Excellent. But we should get the necklace off of the prince as fast as possible. I, I, because yeah. he's going to notice pretty fast that it's a fake. Right. Sigmar. Dabarella. Oh, and Domino. Can't forget about Domino. Nope. You are walking in. Uh, this is, uh, if you remember, like kind of that entrance hallway where Prince Cheserick greeted you. You see a slew of guards all looking at the main gate, uh, and something is pounding on the gate doors. Dabarella go up to the guards in the here and go, have, have you seen it? Any idea what it is? We have no idea what it is. It sounds like a big monster. <laughs> We're just, you know, like the gates are now <laughs> creaking Jeez. open. Okay, well, we, we've got some backup if we do have to fight in here. And you hear Domino go, ha ha, shink, I took this guard's sword, yeah! <laughs> so Sigmar uh, looks around, uh, calls out to all the guards in the area, quick, grab anything flammable, rugs, tables, chairs, pile them up in front of the door, break them down if you have to so they burn easier. 16. Ooh, the guards rolled a 16. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna say like the guards are actually pretty agile here and they start throwing stuff all the tables mm -hmm. uh, Some rugs like anything in front of the door as you hear Crack like the, door the doors open. is still there, but like the the beam is now cracked So so we still have another moment, right? You have exactly one moment to do one thing and then I'm gonna make a grand entrance All right, so it's gonna yell I get Get to cover. <laughs> oh, right, right, cover. Get to cover and aim your weapons if it's a ranged weapon. Oh, all right, all right, that's a good idea. All right, Sigmar's also going to summon his uh, ethereal bow for the first time. Kind of check it out a little bit. Like, oh, God, nice. are you really choosing to do this now? Yeah, he what does he bow. know? <laughs> he needs a bow. Okay, roll a d12. <laughs> you are so excited. Nine. Okay, Ooh, great. So first you take nine damage. Oh. Ooh. So yeah, you look at your arm and your wings start glowing and you're like, fuck yeah. And you start to think in your head, bow. Mm. And what happens is bones and flesh and tendrils rip your arm in open, rip it open like an umbrella. Uh, and your string is actually like your tendons of your arm. Your bow string is your tendons of your arm. Yeah! <laughs> oh, but what you have in your hand now is a fleshy bow made of bone and tendons. Uh, neat. Give me one second. Uh, one of the guards throws up. <laughs> <laughs> one of the guards sees it go, <laughs> what the hell, man? I'm just as shocked as you. <laughs> I want to know how the feather fall works. <laughs> <laughs> yes, your bow is out. Uh, ow. <laughs> I, I think we're going to need to see fucking piss after this. <laughs> Why would you want to see piss? <laughs> You're a freak. <laughs> this guard needs to make. That is a six. Yeah, uh, one guard runs away. Uh, oh, runs away. oh, there's a freak over here. I'm not fighting with that. Well, yeah, one guard just straight up like loses it. Like, I'm not following you. Bones and 
blood just ripped out of your arm and then you said, I got to see piss. That's going to lower morale. Well, after he kind of adjusts to the realization that he's kind of been tricked with yeah. this kind of dark weapon, uh -huh. he goes for the magic arrow pull. Uh, he's going to invoke fire and, and kind of hold it knocked. So like with your gauntlet hand, you pull on your tendons and like this fiery uh, right. ethereal arrow comes into existence and you are now ready. Yeah, and I'm, I'm waiting for that opening moment. Uh, so the door kicks open and you see a relatively normal sized older lady uh, with uh, a long gray cape that she throws to the wind and you see several severed heads on her belt. And she goes, what's up fuckers? Where's my sister? <laughs> In that moment, he shoots the pile of uh, like wooden junk with the fire arrow. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, I think this is a large enough pile of junk. I'm not even gonna make you roll for that. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna talk to this lady. <laughs> <laughs> a little measuring thing here. We're gonna turn this red so we know that this area is on fire. She's gonna take some fire damage, obviously. And everyone roll for initiative. I'm tired of playing my favorite tabletop RPGs as one of the old boring races. I don't want those generic store brand backstories. I want to roll a character with a bit more <laughs> character. Well, Roll for Combat is here to help with their incredible new book, Battle Zoo Ancestries Classic Creatures, which gives you the power to create the character of your dreams. Dig into 12 unique playable monster races in this beautifully printed, massive, hard cover book filled with in depth descriptions, a Abilities, lore, and more. Send that dusty old dwarf right back to the mines and live out your isekai fantasy by becoming an actual intelligent weapon that you wield yourself. Or you could let a friend grab you instead. <laughs> Teamwork. Put that elf back on the shelf and become a sentient dungeon, complete with traps, treasures, and a living avatar. You could even put an end to the age of man and become a shape-shifting mimic. Y you know, those things that gave you trust issues ever since you were eaten by one in Dark Souls? Ooh, that could be you. Click the link below or head on over to BattleZoo.com to secure your copy of BattleZoo Ancestry's Classic Creatures today and become the life of your adventuring party. So we will cut back to Grinderbin and Mortimer. You are racing through the castle, heading back towards the Himbos. Okay. Do we get a quiet moment when no one can see us? So in this hallway, like what you definitely notice, it is dead quiet. You don't yeah. see anyone around any corner. Uh, so yeah, you have a moment. <sighs> I think I know how we can turn everyone against the prince. Oh, good. I do not like that guy. Because we just need the order of the queen, right? Uh huh or just the order of someone who looks very convincingly like the queen. We sure do. I'm going to need your fancy dress. <laughs> what am I gonna wear? <laughs> you can wear my suit. All right. I disrobe. Okay. Mortimer takes off his suit and puts on Grindabin's dress and tries to arrange it like it's a female cut. Mm -hmm. And I'll say to Grindabin, Remind me before we go back, because what I'm about to do can't leave the two of us. Got it? Told you it wouldn't. Mortimer will alter his appearance to that of Beyonce. Which you can do whenever you want. Which I huh. could have had the ability to do at any point throughout the last three seasons. And I've only done it once. As and far I've as only I done it once as far as you know. So, on a whim, as, you know, a free action, you alter your appearance to look just like Queen Beyoncé. Come now, Lord Jami, let us deal with this upstart. <laughs> uh, and so you're going to head to the himbos? Yes. Wonderful. Mortimer, as Beyoncé, in Grinderbin's clothes, walk with Grinderbin in Mortimer's clothes. You both walk uh, up to where Mortimer knows the himbos are, and uh, immediately you start hearing like the whinings of Prince Cesar. Like, you have to let me in. I'm the prince. I'm sorry, you know, uh, only only the queen uh, and Bandori, uh, they're allowed in. We can't let you in. You have to let me in. I'm the prince. <gasps> Mommy, Mommy, you have to let me in. Tell them I can go in. And for, what, <laughs> and for what purpose do you need to be let in, my son? 
I have a plan. It's, it's a birthday surprise for you. Chiseric, Mummy? this castle is under siege. There is no time for games. Tell me what the plan was. Okay, Mummy. I found a little thing. I found a fun little thing. And I need, uh, I just need some powerful magical items to start it up. So uh, I've got this one, but I don't know if it will work. I haven't really looked at it much yet. Um, uh, I'm hoping it will, but if it doesn't, I want to just borrow your necklace for oh, just an incy wincy minute, and then I'll give your necklace right back to your mummy. Well, it sounds like it would be much better used by myself, Chiserick. <sighs> but I don't know what dangers, mummy. You let me do it. Let me do it, mummy. It is my responsibility as ruler of this land to spearhead its defense, Chiserick. Now I shall recover my necklace. Mummy! Um, you never give me any responsibility! I have made my orders, Chiserick. Mummy! Oh, I hate you so much sometimes! Just oh, you live for so long and I will never be king and I hate you, I hate you, I hate you! Yes, Chiserick, we've heard it all before. Oh, mummy! The sweet past. <laughs> oh, you're such a... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> You'll live for so long and I'll never be king. It's just King Charles. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's why I'm laughing. <laughs> Sometimes you take inspiration from real life. Um oh, mommy, fine, you go in. <laughs> okay. Uh and uh, Mortimer, give me a perception check. Natural twenty. Yeah. Wow. Fuck you. <laughs> That's incredible. You, under under Cheserick's breath, you definitely hear him uh, say some, uh, some words that you, uh, as Mortimer, might recognize as, like, calling something into action. Okay. Lord Jami, come with me. Uh, yeah, of course. Your Highness. <laughs> the two guys, uh, he, you, you're going to allow... Lord Jami has my absolute trust. Now come on. That is true. Give me a second here. Can confer. <laughs> of course, my queen. <laughs> anything, you, anything you say, uh, you know, ching 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 ching. Okay. Right this way, okay. my your highness. Okay. When, when the door closes behind us, Mortimer will whisper to Grindabin, "The prince is up to something." Yeah, he's trying to do a robot. Art. We went <laughs> over this. He's with up Bonesy. to something in the here and now. He was muttering something, and it sounded like he was activating something. And then, uh, click chink, this door opens, and you see the himbo go, yeah. Oh, your highness, your necklace isn't ready yet. We're not ready for till tomorrow, it but. Does, it is an emergency situation. I gotta say, man. you look righteous. <laughs> Thank you, my good man. Oh, I will take the gem now, please. We're supposed to clean it for you. There is a crisis situation. I need it immediately. I mean, you're the queen. You're definitely the queen. <laughs> <laughs> Do we know if the cleaning is important or it's more just like a ceremonial thing because it's like the day before and it's pretty nasty? You don't know? Um, I would assume that if to maximize the amount of power you'd get from the moonlight, it would need to be buffed of all its stains. And right. Stuff. And of course, like this is something that she would wear 24 7 like like i said you can see right. like the marks on her skin so it's also probably just real nasty yeah cool. so yeah the, the himbo's like all right oh yeah of course your highness like anything you want you're the queen <laughs> uh so you know he's he's gonna go and be like all right yeah no he's a queen the queen oh the queen now incidentally yeah. i know you're all built to look good but how are you in actual combat these days Oh, uh, you know, like I've fisticuffed a couple times. Uh, like I've definitely like gotten to some right. rows. Okay, well, why don't you escort <laughs> Prince Chisric to the gate and help out with the defense there? Uh, I don't want to tell you no, but like, <laughs> okay, maybe I was overselling it. Like we're gem cleaners, you know, like <laughs> these rooms, by the way, these walls, pretty thick. It's hard to hear what's happening outside <laughs> as a as a prelude to something that might be happening as we cut back to Sigmar and Dabarella. All right, so the very first thing, uh, we're just going to have uh, actually all of the guards uh, get to go first. And so we have to roll a shit ton of dice. So the, the uh, blunderbuss guards... <laughs> Let go a shot. Uh, all of the shot goes wide. Some of the other guards uh, take their turn, and they like, oh, for the queen, for the queen. This is as far as I can move. 
<laughs> oh, for the queen. Uh, and they basically like create a little like shield wall. These would be like the guards with with shields and pikes. Move it in. And so like they create a barrier. They're like, you know, getting past here, witch. Uh, and that is their turn. Uh, so Domino Fantastic is like, all right, here we go. Hey, you, give me that gun. Uh, and the guy's like, oh, uh, okay. And uh, this guard uh, hands him his gun and runs the fuck away. <laughs> <laughs> so now Domino Fantastic has a sword and a gun. So he's going to try to shoot the witch. Ooh, all right, yeah. So he's like, hey there, witch. Kaboom! Uh, and it hits her, <laughs> causing some damage. Good work, Ooh. Domino! All right, I'm back in it. <laughs> Sigmar, it is your turn. Sure. So you see Calandra uh, in the fire. Mm -hmm. uh, all these guards make a little shield uh, barrier, uh, and you are on this side. Okay, so I'm going to use another trick. Well, I'm going to use a trick shot because I haven't used one yet. You haven't used one yeah. yet today, correct. I want to use a mobilize. Ooh! So what, this, does a, what does your immobilized trick shot? It should, it should stop her from moving for a turn. Yeah, movement speed becomes zero until the end of your next turn. Oh shit! That's Whoa. great. Whoa! That's a great trick shot. Uh, Eleven. Okay, so whenever you use your bow, it's a plus ten. But that's the that's the meat bow that that's causes the, me that's damage. The trick yes. of yeah, having a meat bow. That that's the meat bow. The meat what a bow. great item! <laughs> Like it's kind of it's kind of worth it. It's kind of badass because of your archer abilities. You are able to kind of like form your like arcane bolt in such a way where you let an arrow fly and it grabs onto her cape mm -hmm. and pins the cape <laughs> to the ground. Oh. Uh, and she is immobilized until the end of your next My turn. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Fuck, that's a good one. I'm just gonna take another uh, attack with a standard magic arrow. Okay, great. Shit, that's 12. <laughs> <laughs> you have a plus 10. <laughs> you pin her down. And by the way, like, this is your second successful usage of your, like, uh, archery class. So you've been training for this. Mm. You just are so overconfident that maybe, like, you, you, like, you look to the guard and you're like, check this out. <laughs> like, without looking like you're going to hit it. Like, and the guard is like, yeah, you do a good job. You, you, hit her, you hit her really well. Huh? Are you wearing your shirt? Yeah, my shirt's back. No, you're wearing your, your hoodie shirt, your shirt that Grinderman gave you. I probably not, because we oh, changed yeah, to the fancy clothes. Don't changed. get bonus. Right. Mm. You just miss. You just miss. I'm I mean, that so... stuff should theoretically be on the way. I don't know if you want to do a, roll, <laughs> uh, a luck check at any point. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> There's one exit to this castle. <laughs> Uh, he's in initiative, don't you worry. Oh, <laughs> no. Um, okay, so it is now Calandra Ticklepuss's turn, who is like, How did... What the... What the fuck? <laughs> oh, fuck you! Mm -hmm. uh, so the first thing she does is picks up a throwing axe <laughs> uh, and Get looks at one of the guards uh, and... <laughs> Uh, an axe goes right into a guard. Damn. Oh, boy. Guard goes down. Yeah, fuck you! <laughs> then she looks at you, Sigma. I go, oh, you want to take me on? <laughs> Pulls a head off of her belt. It's like, deal with this, motherfucker! <laughs> um, and the head flies <laughs> towards you and starts biting you. What? <laughs> oh, wow. Is this a magical attack or a physical? Like, I know like, it was I'm like physically a, This was bitten. one of the physical heads that was yeah, on Yeah, but a, a right? head shouldn't normally be able to bite. Well, yeah, outside. necromancy. Because oh, yeah. Sigmar is resistant to necro damage. <laughs> when they, oh, but she rolled a natural 20. Oh, oh, of course. Oh, that's, a that's a crit. I need, uh, I need four D4s. Goddamn. Seven uh, round down is three. So you take three damage as this head is like. <laughs> oh, you got headed. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Oh, no, she gave you head. Then uh, that gets us down to Dabarella. Dabarella would like to attempt to use Guiding Bolt, which is one of her spells. Okay. On hit, the target takes four D6 radiant damage. Damn. Cool. I have to roll for attack first, don't I? You do. Mm -hmm. Gotta hit. Gotta hit. Ooh, eight. Uh, eight does not hit. I'm sorry. Uh! You're still quasi new at magic, and so like you're like, 
you know, oh, she's doing magic. I can do magic too. And you're both like, <laughs> it, it arcs away. Wow, that would have sucked. <laughs> I'm going to move up a little bit. As a bonus action, I can use my second level spell to cast Spiritual Weapon. Yeah. Oh, you have a little spoon for me. <laughs> yeah, I got a little spoon for you. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> can, we, can we roll for Bonk? 15. Hits. Yes. Hey. So yeah, she's like, the witch is here, the witch is back, and pfft, ah! <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> Dabarella gets a second attack on her turn, because that was a bonus action. So she'd like to attempt casting Bolt again. Okay. Come on, come on. Hey, unnatural 20. Oh, nice. Ooh, Boom, nice. yeah. So yeah, she gets bonked and it's like too busy looking at your spoon to be like, what the fuck? And your guiding bolt, uh, do you have a way that you want that to look? I want it to look like a little cupcake bomb. A little, oh, so, so yeah. Good. So she's too busy looking up and all of a sudden, like little cupcake bomb goes off. Wow! 46 radiant damage. 46 yeah. radiant damage. That's Come beautiful. On, That's really strong. Ooh. Oh, fuck! I got two sixes, a five, and a three! Nice! It's 20 radiant damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, she is feel like sh that hurt her. Like, yes. she's feeling, she's <laughs> nice. rather hurt, like, oh, that's what we're doing now! All right! <laughs> All right! I just came here to see B! Fuck you in particular! <laughs> So sorry, it's just you get you was yelled out like sup fuckers and then it was just all scary and then there was fine, then you hit him with a with a head. Yeah, hey, I got more head heads. On me. I, I'm gonna throw my heads at you now. No, <laughs> then I'm gonna take your head and throw it at other people. Could we maybe be friends? Fuck you! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. But at the top of the initiative order, the first thing that happens is bread. Oh, bread. bread! What I'm gonna say is Domino in the distance here. Uh, you know, here's like a oh crap, 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 Bread! Is that you? <laughs> okay, I gotta go get some weapons or something. I gotta go to a hotel and get weapons. <laughs> All right. Yeah, he so he didn't even make it out of the castle yet. I I rolled for bread. He got a little lost on his way. <laughs> <laughs> Bread is not a smart man. He's not a warrior. This is something Fair. you should know about yeah. bread. All, well, I guess the other thing we will do then is because we're at the top of initiative, we will cut back to Mortimer and Grinderbin. Grinderbin will look at Mortimer uh, and say, oh, it's too dangerous out there with that little one running around. Ooh, Shouldn't yes. you say, thank you for your counsel. Lord bring John. him in here. The himbos can watch over him. We'll take the guards to help with the front. Thank you for your counsel, Lord Jame. Uh, sir, thank you for reminding me on the uh, sturdiness of the defenses in the gem room and of your own uselessness in battle. Perhaps, <laughs> perhaps it would be best for you to look after Prince Chiserick in here, where he can be the most safe. Oh, yeah, we'd love to have the little guy in here as long as you tell us it's okay. We can have him in here. We <laughs> then can... you can consider my, my official orders. Oh, yeah, we would love we'll to do that. We'll just send him in. Oh, sure, no problem. And the himbo knocks on the door, like gives a special knock to uh, unlock the door. Finally, after a, a good pause, click, click, what you see out there oh, shit. Is, uh, is a couple dead guards. The other guards are kind of mid, like, Yo, Linus, you stay in there, the assassins! And you know, Prince Cheserick goes, Mommy. Cheserick, what is the meaning of this? I'm going to be king. So it's treason then. It's not treason if you're the king. <laughs> all right, Jezrek. It seems all the cards are in your hand. Just keep your assassin away, and I'll give you the necklace. This looks like a very special role. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like a very special role because uh, if this persuasion check goes well, that will mean combat is not initiated. But if this persuasion check doesn't go well... What, so you're saying, like, I'll give you the necklace. Yes. Can I invoke a help action? <sighs> and, I, and I'll tell you how. Please tell me how. <laughs> Grinderbin will come out and go, uh, Queen, no, it's too powerful. You can't give it to someone else. You don't know what havoc he could wreak with it. 
Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's too good. All right. You may have this with advantage, and you will abdicate the throne. I will have the power, and I will be king. <laughs> this will determine how much persuasion uh, you need. Once you have the necklace, I will be powerless. I will be entirely in your power and will do whatever you ask. Okay. Give me a persuasion roll with advantage. <laughs> Enjoy it. Double 12. Ooh. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's magic. You get, so when you roll doubles, it it uh, counts. You add them together, you right? Added, that's yeah. not how that works. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter as much because I have persuasion plus eight, so an, that's twenty. An unnatural twenty definitely beats my DC. And he goes, "Oh, you're right. You're you're quite useless without your magic. Oh, mummy. Okay, okay. I'll keep you around when I am king, because I love you, mummy." Mm, you will be a just ruler, my Gimme. son. Gimme. And of course, hands out the fake necklace. Of course, right. hands out the fake necklace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, he puts down the homunculus, clasps it on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Get a little constitution saving throw for him, and I rolled a three. Ooh. Oh. oh. There he goes. I feel it. I feel so powerful. I can feel it. <laughs> <laughs> Drops unconscious. Okay. Now what does the assassin do? Yeah. The assassin stays perfectly stone still. Okay. The, but the guards are like, Yo, Yo, Ines? Your well, Highness? Well, we can see what happens to the unprepared when they attempt to wield that kind of power. Guards, take Prince Chiseric to his room and then assist the effort at the gate. All right, do you want us to help him? He looks like he might be dying, like in the process of dying, like he's trying to figure out if his breath is gonna hold. Or would you like us just to move him because uh, he kind of looks like he's maybe one roll away from <laughs> actually dying? Take him to his room and we'll see what Re just rewards the fate have in store for my idiot son. <laughs> Grindelwald, you don't have any response to it. <laughs> Grindelwald does not know that it's poison. Right, but he did just drop dead and they're saying- he I don't like know he that he die. dropped dead. Well, no, but he dropped and it looks like he might die. I rolled two death save fails and one death save success. Mm -hmm. 11. That's two fails and two successes. All right. <laughs> no one is stopping me. I'm, I'm We're not. not in the room. Yeah, we can't yeah. do anything. Seven. So, you know, this guard comes up to Prince Cheswick and goes, oh, Mom, he's dead. He ain't breathing. And we see the price of treason. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he did try, he was trying to, he killed, look, he killed, he killed a couple of us and he was trying to kill me. Uh, I'm afraid I must grieve in my own time. There is part too large concerns right now. Guards, join the effort at the gate. I will repair to the tower. He, you just want us to leave you here with the assassin? The assassin clearly can't function without the prince's orders. I'm sure it will stay there. Wait. Sure about that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, All right, anything of... you say, ma'am. <laughs> That's Anything you say, hi hey guards. Uh, I, I guess leave the prince. Fuck him. Uh, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Oh, uh, you know. Oh, here you go. Uh, here's the keys to the gym room. Lock it up. We gotta go. All right, okay, all right. We'll do that. Uh, you and Grinderbin are there with the corpse of <laughs> Prince Cheswick the Third, the Second. Okay, Mortimer's gonna take the fake necklace off the prince. What just happened? The queen has many secrets, Lord Jami. All right now, I'm suspicious. Like, <laughs> Wait, did you do this? It's complicated. You did do this. I'll explain everything once we get out of this shit fest. So did you get? All right, you know, actually, don't tell me. I there was an assassin next to the prince when he died. I'm just leaving with that. Let's get out of here. Good plan. And the silent assassin not moving. Uh, absolutely gonna throw that hood back. Grinderbin, you take the hood off of the assassin. 
Awesome. And you see, what you see is uh, is a mechanized man. Wow. What am I to do? Uh, you oh. are. Uh, mm. And that's where we'll leave it for this episode of Adventure is Nigh. Oh. <laughs> Someone's at the castle gates. Now you got a murder robot. Things are getting fucky all over the place. Thanks for watching and or listening, everyone. We'll see you now next time for the final episode of season three. Fucking sweet. Bye. Bye. <laughs> wow. Thank you.